It has been a difficult few days across Metro Detroit. The storms that we've been dealing with are still leaving people in the dark. Yeah, Kim DiGiulio is live this morning. And Kim, lots of power outages. Where are we with DTE and consumers trying to get things back up and running? Well, good morning, guys. Yeah, we saw those storms. They came in quick, but the aftermath of really climbing out of those storms, well, that still lingers. 114,000 people still currently in the dark, according to DTE. Flashing lights in the sky. Spark down the whole thing goes boom. Fried power lines below. And that was it. This week's severe storms are still leaving thousands in the dark. Then the power kind of went off, came on, went off, came on, and then off. This Garden City neighborhood has seen at least three outages this year. It's very frustrating because you sit here, we all know the budgets are going crazy, food prices are just running through the roof at times, and you're just like, what am I supposed to do to save what I've got? DTE on the scene Friday evening, where the problem was evident. When I came home today is when I noticed all the down lines. I think there's like a total of five of them in that section just right there. So I was like, ooh. The neighbor in the brick house over there told me he saw that wire go on all red. And on the ground is all the insulation right now. With more hot weather ahead. It's on the grass, it's on the sidewalk, it comes all the way down. They hope to have power restored today. It was not a good sleeping night last night. I had just made me just a couple hours of sleep because it was so, you know, when you get hot and you get sticky, it just, you know, there's no fans, there's nothing to cool you down. Certainly hard to sleep in this weather. However, the good news is, is DTE says they hope to have at least 80% of those uh, people without power restored by today and hopefully everybody by tomorrow. But it's not just power outages that we're dealing with with the aftermath of that storm. Guys, we're still dealing with traffic trouble as well. I-275 is still closed at I-94 because of that flooding. So if you travel that way, you want to make sure you're mindful of that. But certainly hope that we can get power restored for a majority of people by the end of today. Out here live, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Back right. to you guys in the studio. Kim, thank you so much. And of course, a lot of damage around the mm -hmm. area too. We'll talk about that in just a little bit.